Oh, jeez, what smells? Hey everybody and welcome to the very first show of Blue Cheese, Stinky Movies on Blu-ray. I'm your old pal the Moo Cow and I am joined with... Just Chen. And... Dylan. How's it going everybody? So, this is the show where we pair cheesy movies with cheesy snacks. And on this particular episode we will be pairing... Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is a classic classic cheesy film and to pair that with our snack we have cheesy cheese and crackers mm -hmm. can't get more classic than that <laughs> so there you go so we'll be back after a few seconds and we will talk about our cheesy film experience it was a night like any other night then something happened Something different. It's no shooting star. Why here? Why now? Why clowns? <laughs> They've been knocking him dead all over the universe. What are you going to do? Knock my block off. <laughs> Soon they'll be doing it at a theater near you. Killer clowns from outer space. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just cruising through the galaxy and stopped here for a bite to eat. You don't need a police bell, you need a psychiatrist. Uh -oh. They want to play games? They're messing with the wrong guy. What are you in for? Killer clowns from outer space. It's crazy. Welcome back. Uh, so, we just watched <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We just had our cheesy snack. We got our monkey. And um, now it's time to talk about the film. And I'm going to turn to my co hosts here. <gasps> Miss Jen? Yeah. What about you? What did you think of Killer Clowns? That was so dumb. <laughs> that was so dumb. I want to come a little bit more, you two. Oh. Just in case. Um, right. So you're saying it was a cheesy film? Sure. <laughs> well, what, what, it, was, it was quite, quite dumb. What parts do you think that were cheesy and or dumb? The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> okay. That was, that was very interesting. It was very bright and very colorful and, and yes. Garish almost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, Dylan? See, I disagree. I love the movie. Uh, right. I, I personally think it's a, an interesting combination of, you know, some comedic realms mixed in with, you know, the horror genre. Um, there are some tense moments as, you know, yeah. you like go it when they're going through the uh, circus tent slash spaceship. Um, and the music kind of really plays into that as well. You know, you kind of get this sense of dread as you're traveling through. You're not really sure what's a trap and what's dangerous and what's just there for, you know, part of the clown aesthetic, as you uh, <laughs> clown aesthetic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, 
let me ask you this, because you've seen this movie a number of times. Right? I have, num numerous times, can still you, love it. Can you briefly describe exactly what happens in this plot? <laughs> briefly. Sort of encapsulate the plot. Yes. Um, so, in the, in the beginning, um, you know, the spaceship comes down to Earth as, uh, you know, several couples are at make-out point, or top of the world, as they call it in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and the one couple in particular, uh, Mike and uh, I'm Debbie, blanking on Debbie. The, thank you. Um, <laughs> go to investigate and find out that this is no ordinary uh, tent uh, with clowns in it, but are in fact killer clowns from outer space. As you do. Um, naturally, the uh, clowns invade the town and capture <laughs> various town folk in cotton candy cocoons and evil cotton candy. yes evil cotton candy cocoons that apparently liquefy you and also carry away women and balloons for don't know that's uh, what they do with those balloons but uh, <laughs> um, and eventually uh, you know it's this whole run around aspect of um, you know going around the town and trying to stop these clowns and their various antics and at the end uh, they go back to this uh, tent which has now been relocated to the amusement park of course uh, which is where you would normally find clowns uh, and that's where the climax takes place and they eventually uh, take out the clowns by shooting them in the nose or with the big one which is like I guess clownzilla uh, <laughs> It's with a police badge. <laughs> that, that definitely should be a movie. Clownzilla. Can you imagine no. a 50 foot clown running around stomping on the city? How has that not been made? With atomic breath. <sighs> right. Well, right. considering all the movies yeah, that you've seen or talked about, yeah, how has that not been made? I'm telling you what. We got, we got to talk to Hollywood. No, Hollywood, no. give us a call. Clownzilla. We got to make it. I'm still waiting on a sequel because they left it open at the end. Well, and I was going to bring that point up. Um, yes, uh, actually, uh, there is supposed to be a sequel. I know it was announced. It's supposed to be for 2017. Um, I think some finance issues came in, and then, of course, COVID struck now, mm -hmm. last year. And so I, I'm not sure if the production's on hiatus or what, but there is supposed to be a sequel. Mm -hmm. It's in 3D. Nice. Oh, dear. Because, of course... Killer and yeah. um, I, I think just about everybody is is on waiting with bated breath for this other clown movie to come out. Even mm -hmm. Jen, I'm sure. And um, I'm glad yeah, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's so many questions left sure. uh, unanswered. You know, where did they come from? Why did they come to Earth? Although it was mentioned by uh, I believe one of the Terenzi brothers that you know they were just stopping by for a bite to eat, which a lot of the plot does kind of lead. Um, to that being the case, you know, all the cotton candy cocoons, and it does show, uh, you know, one of the clowns actually sticking in a straw and feeding. Right, right, um, right. Um, and that's one of the things I wanted to point out, is in addition to the whole clown from outer space thing, there's a lot of fun and inventive uh, props and things that they use. So you've got evil cotton candy, you've got evil balloon animals, uh, you've got evil pies that will... Yes, the popcorn, all sorts of one wonderful, fun, inventive Shadow things. Shadow puppets. <laughs> uh, balloons that are in the way, and just all kinds of crazy, wacky balloons. things. Um, my favorite scene is probably when um, the uh, little clown on his little bike stops next to this bunch of bikers there, and the one guy breaks his bike and tries to make fun of him, and says, what are you going to do, knock my block off? And does in fact it him. Him. Yes. <laughs> well, and then the the black biker guy that was the best. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> they all just stare at it. Damn. Sure, sure, then sure. Then scatter. What about you? What's your favorite scene? Oh, hmm. I actually really like the. Uh, they're in the police station, and one of the clowns actually killed uh, Moody, who is really moody throughout the entire <laughs> film. Um, and has him as a ventriloquist puppet, you know, sitting there controlling him. And then in the end, he just, like, pulls his hand out and just flings it <laughs> on the ground and 
that's of course where we also see how we finally take care of the clowns by right. shooting them in the nose. Right. John Vernon, yeah. in a fabulous, fabulous performance. Um, if you if you hadn't seen, I mean, he's been on a bunch of movies in the '60s and '70s, but nothing quite like this. Really knows how to play the mean guy. Yes, there yeah. you go. What about you, Justin? Bitter Jen? old man. There. What was your favorite scene? I don't know that I had a favorite. <laughs> oh man! Come on. <laughs> Are you the grouchy I'm, clown? I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I, I truly don't know. I didn't okay, have any okay. that really stuck out as. Um, well, different question above then. And <laughs> what was the dumbest part of the film for you? The cheesiest part? Do I have to pick one. <laughs> if you have to pick one, if they hold a popcorn gun to your head, which which is the cheesiest part? Um. Back to me. Let me think on this. Okay, what about you? Cheesiest part? The cheesiest part for me would have, uh, have to be where uh, Debbie just got out of the shower, which was a very prolonged scene. Quite. Um, and uh, one, she walks into the bathroom and there's no popcorn on her, and all of a sudden there's popcorn on the floor. Cut and, <laughs> on her clothes, and somehow. The popcorn gets in the hamper, which is show, but then there's, when the popcorn develops, it turns into these little, like, uh, jack-in-the-box clown little monsters. puppet critters. And somehow they come out of the medicine cabinet and the toilet, which we never saw any of the popcorn go into. So, and, well, there's the possibility for the toilet. Around. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was funny. So, like that. it was like squeaky that, noises and crawling, yeah. so. And at one point... They had planted the popcorn in a dumpster outside the clown-themed restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, the Clown Burger, I think it was called, or something like that. And the one guy... Big Top Burger. Big Top yeah. Burger. And then the one guy went in there to throw some trash, and he hears some squeaking, and he looks in, and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, and on that same... Um, in the bathroom scene as well, you know, I found it kind of cheesy how, you know, she was able to, I guess, fight back against these creatures with... A shower wand, and by placing the curtain over the monsters to jump over. One of several <laughs> shower curtains, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because like any good 80s, 20-something-year-old female, she's going to have multiple sets of shower curtains in mm -hmm. her bathroom. And she's going to put on her socks, shoes, and leg warmers in the they bathroom right after the absolutely, shower. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I think and a perfectly my, curled and styled. Hair. My my favorite cheesy part, I think, must be the balloon animal dog. I mean, oh, that's yeah. one of my favorites. <laughs> it's so cute. He gets run over by a car, but it's okay. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we have the uh, Indiana Jones esque finale, where our two bumbling idiot friends, who are only interested in boobs, uh, their ice cream truck blows up, but they somehow manage to escape that explosion and the spaceship explosion uh, in the clown car, and then they come and say, oh, we hid in the freezer. Yeah. So the freezer is apparently explosion proof. Yeah. Just yeah. like refrigerators can yeah. withstand an atomic bomb. So yep. that's, that's pretty cheese worthy <laughs> there. But yeah. overall... Well, I will say I didn't, like, cheese worthy, cheese, try that again, cheesy, and actually I didn't really care for this in the beginning, the old man. Playing that super oh, yeah. stereotype yeah. hick guy. Right. I found, well, I mean, all the characters were goofy and annoying. Well, goofy. I found him highly annoying. I was not upset when he was killed. Just that that extreme hick character. Just. But he loves his Pooh Bear. Yeah. A dog named Pooh Bear was the first death of the movie. I know. Very sad. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. So if you're an animal lover... Got to look out for that. Um, you don't see anything. He just no, disappears. No, no. Eh, we don't care about the humans. Just the animals. The mind wanders. But overall, this was a pretty darn cheesy film. I mean, this is a mm. classic cheesy 80s film. And um, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I don't know. I, I like it. And um, I'm glad that it was one that you liked. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that you had at least seen it before. I, so. well, I remember when it yeah. first came out that, you know, a lot sure. of people um, made fun of it. And didn't really take it very seriously. But now it's become quite the cult right. classic. I saw it in the theaters, and I'm telling you, people had no idea how to react. They were like, uh, uh, funny, not funny, <laughs> scary, not scary, what is this? 
And um, it took a while before it became a cult hit, and um, you know, the VHS industry is really what, what drove it, I think, because mm -hmm. it, it went out to so many different people. It was one of the staples of pretty much any neighborhood VHS uh, store, so mm -hmm. Blockbuster, etc. Mm -hmm. But um, well, now we're going to get to the point of the show where we are going to talk about our scoring because you got to have a score. Can't just say, "Oh, I like it" or "I don't like it," and we're going to rate it by the cheese. So. And uh, if you like it and you think that it is a, a Gouda movie, you're going to give it a Gouda cheese for 10 points. If you think it's kind of meh and it's just cheddar, then you're going to give it 5 points. On the other hand, if you think that it's a stinky blue cheese, then you're going to give it stinky blue for negative 10 points. So, I'm going to let everybody shuffle their cards <laughs> so nobody can tell. And then... We're going to see what our scores are for this film. You guys ready? Yep. All right. I already I'm, know what y'all are giving. I'm it. going so for Gouda. Gouda all the way. There you go. Just Jen? That's a cheddar. Cheddar. Okay. Um, I have expected her to put the blue cheese. That's not bad. No. Oh, oh. I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen much worse. I Hello. I've had a, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty darn respectable score for our first movie. That's a total of 25. Not mm -hmm. bad. Out of 30 points, not too shabby. All right. So what did you guys think of uh, the very first episode of Blue Cheese? I think it's a lot of fun. It's, it's of course, it's always nice to uh, sit down and watch a movie with uh, cheese and crackers <laughs> and uh, maybe a little bit of wine. Mm -hmm. Which you guys didn't see. Oh, well, no, it's over there. No, I got it. Uh, <laughs> we got our port. Uh, Tawny port, thank you very much. Yeah. Whoopsie. And, of course, depending on the uh, um, state of the movie and how crazy it is, you know, the uh, cheese and wine definitely makes it a little bit more bearable. Oh, we so. never, <laughs> never have crazy movies around here, do we? <laughs> All right, well, thanks, everybody, yeah. very, very much. Please join us for our next episode where we will have a different cheesy movie and we will pair it with a different cheesy snack. Thank you all very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>